Instead, he draws a leadoff walk, and that's the first walk handed out by Garrett Cole. Instead, he gets a base hit into right. So he tries to bunt. First two pitches, falls in the hole, and shoots one through pretty wide open right side of the infield. The time off before the World Series. That's into right field. A base hit into score Suzuki, and the Nationals are on top. A walk, a single, a fly ball, and now a base hit by Adam Eaton. His fifth RBI of this postseason, and it's 3 2 Nationals here in the fifth. And now two on, only one out for Anthony Rendon. It's been a while since Garrett Cole has been on the short end. Broken bat, ground ball, out at second, and safe at first. The inning continues with two out as Rendon beat it, and that broken bat hit the very top of the screen at the top of the Nationals dugout. Well, that bat went flying and an in between hop that Bregman was able to get and a good turn. But just beat it out was Rendon. One of their three runs in tonight's game scoring with two out. 49% of their runs this postseason scoring with two out coming in. Soto out of the way of ball one. When you think about how improbable the Nationals' journey here is, you only have to go back to the wild card game against one of the best relievers in baseball, trailing against Milwaukee. They rallied against Hader. Won that game and then did the same thing again in game five in LA. That man at the plate, a huge home run. He was also the guy that delivered the hit in the eighth inning against Hader and the Brewers. They were down three to one, bottom of the eighth. Two out, Soto delivered, an error by the right fielder. Three runs scored. Nationals moved on. Down two games to one to the Dodgers, came back. Down three runs in game five in LA. Came back. And now here they are after a four game sweep of the Cardinals in the NLCS. Down two to nothing after one. They lead three to two as we play in the fifth. Here comes a 3 0 pitch to Juan Soto. 3 1. Woo! Pretty incredible respect for the young man, but the situation obviously calls for a really good secondary pitch when you're behind 3 0. Nationals lead a chance for more first and third two out. Full count. One of the first change ups we've seen too. What a time to pull that one out. Wow. Soto agrees. Runner at first will go. That's Rendon. That's well hit into left field. Back and off the wall. One run scores. Here comes Rendon. He'll score two. And the Nationals now lead by three. Soto delivers again. Kid's unbelievable. He spit on one of these earlier in the count, but then he goes with the pitch. Backdoor slider. Doesn't try to do too much. 
in an era where home runs walks and strikeouts are king and you understand why this guy doesn't really fall into that has such plate awareness for a young age and his swing is going to play for a long time by the way it's not going to be one of those that goes away. So Eaton scored easily but because the count was full Rendon got that head start and that allowed him to score all the way from first. Here's a one one hard hit diving catch by Correa and that saves another run. But. Big damage done in the fifth inning by the visiting Washington Nationals. Now leading by three halfway through game one.